Hi everybody, welcome to the Bolt Hole Biker. I'm quite excited today because I've got a fantastic ride for you. I've been wanting to do this video for a while, but today's the day. About half an hour's ride away from where I live, there's a road that runs between two North Yorkshire towns, Helmsley and Stokesley. And it's an iconic road that goes right over the top of the North York Moors, the B1257, affectionately known as the Yorkshire TT. And as the Isle of Man TT was supposed to have been on a couple of weeks ago, it just made me think, I'm gonna come and have a ride on this road. Even though I only live about half an hour away from this road, and Helmsley is a place that I ride to if I'm test riding a bike, because the, the dealers that I get my bikes from is uh, it's only about 20 minutes away from here. I've never actually ridden the TT, the Yorkshire TT that is. So I thought today's the day, and I thought you might like to come along for the ride. Although it's supposed to be an absolutely sublime road, I do know that the uh, the police also know that it's known as the Yorkshire TT, so they can be a bit hot along here apparently. So I'll be enjoying the ride, but staying within the speed limits. Um, Hopefully you enjoy the ride and I'll see you at the other end. National speed limit, North York Moors National Park. We should get some epic scenery on this ride. It's about 20 miles this road between the two towns. There's plenty of ascent and descent. Loads of nice twisty, twisty bits and bends and corners. We should see plenty of other bikes as well. Hey up. I've just realised that my rucksack clips are undone. I'm going to slow down and put them on. Stop off rather. Stop and put them on. Was he flashing me then? Does that mean there's a copper up here? Because I am led to believe that they are very fond of this road. It's uh, good for revenue. Uh, I've just got to do my rucksack up, otherwise it's going to be flapping about all over the place. Ooh, I'm rolling. Ooh. Get me back brake on. Let this car go. I'll soon overtake him in a second. <laughs> Coming for you. Bye. Bloody white line. That's not fair. Gone now, though.
this. Wow. who live in Stokesley so I'm hoping to uh, I'm hoping that this ride culminates in a, a socially distanced cup of coffee in their garden oh please go faster just a little bit that's very yellow footage that I filmed yesterday it was a glorious day these views were amazing basically the uh, the file had corrupted so I had all the audio and the video just stopped about five or six minutes into the, the, the ride and that was it freeze frame for the rest of it so uh, I did consider doing the video all on the rear footage and I watched about five minutes of it and it became a little bit sort of kaleidoscopic it just wasn't you just couldn't watch a full video of it but I, <laughs> I did consider it so I sat myself down thought to myself what am I gonna do and I thought bugger it I'm gonna go and do it again so we're back out today refilming the TT the only difference is 
is pissing down with rain today and it was glorious sunshine yesterday still a great road and I don't mind riding in the rain but um, the views aren't quite so great and I'm obviously going to take it a little bit steadier in the uh, in the corners <coughs> but it is an absolutely fantastic road I loved it yesterday and I'm loving it today it's just turned into a slightly different video look at that view <laughs> brilliant well seeing as we're riding in the rain I might as well talk about riding in the rain because um, I know a lot of people don't like riding in the rain but I've always quite enjoyed it it's, obviously I'd rather be riding on a nice sunny day but I'm certainly not one of those people who's um, you know I won't put a ride off because it's raining and I do get a uh, a sort of perverse enjoyment from riding in the rain providing I'm wearing the right clothes that's the only difference as far as I can tell apart from the fact that you need to adjust your riding slightly to allow for the uh, slight loss of grip if I was in jeans and a leather jacket like I was yesterday I wouldn't be enjoying this at all same as if I was in shorts and a t-shirt I wouldn't be enjoying it but I'm not I've put my wet weather gear on and so long as you got the right gear, riding in the rain is absolutely lovely as far as I'm concerned. Bikes are for riding, they're not only for riding on dry days. I used to have some um, really nice Alpine Stars uh, textile gear that cost a bit of money and you know had all lovely features and was great stuff. I've still got it, it is great stuff, I'm not complaining about it. But did let a bit of rain in eventually so I needed to get something different and I watched one of um, TMF's videos Missing and Flyer and he was doing a review on the Oxford Mondial laminated textile gear and based on the strength of what he'd said about it I went out and bought some and that's what I'm wearing now and I can confirm that I have never had a single drop come in not that I've ever felt anyway they're absolutely fantastic and they're for nothing you know when you look at the, the cost that you can pay for decent laminated um, textile gear you can pay you know serious sums of money and this is this is just really really reasonably priced and it is fantastic it was what I wore all the way through the winter I took the um, the thermal lining out I don't wear that all I do is I wear a, a Kai's heated jacket underneath it I don't always have it turned on so it's not always heated but I wear that as the under jacket that's what I've got on now it's not on but I'm just wearing it as the under jacket and uh, my Kai's heated gloves again they're not on but they just keep the water out better than my other winter gloves and that's it it's raining and I'm warm as toast dry as a bone I quite happily ride like this all day no quibbles about the rain whatsoever I've always quite liked the rain I don't mind walking in the rain I love being in a tent in the rain I like being in a conservatory in the rain it's, what's wrong with it? it's just weather as long as you've got the right clothes on I just wish the view was a bit better so that it would uh, do this road the real justice. Never know, in a minute it might just part, you know, like a like the parting of the seas and we'll get brilliant sunshine. Of course, if that does happen now, now that I've said it, I'm going to have a massive messiah complex, aren't I? I'm going to, so I'm going to think it's because of me that, that it's happened. <laughs> the seas will part. Put that in your pipe and smoke it, David Ike. I bet you couldn't do that. Anyway, given that I now have my newfound uh, Messiah complex, I actually want it to stay like this. This is what I command. I command rain, grey skies and low visibility. Yeah? 
and I got it. Look at that. <laughs> David Icke. Not all bad, is it? When I first saw that the video file was corrupted, I thought, you bastard. You utter bloody bastard. I've just been and filmed all that. Then I thought to myself, hang on a minute. I can go and do it again. Not a bad life, is it? TT two days in a row. And I get to try it in completely different conditions as well. A sunny day yesterday. And a wet one today. Just the same fun. <laughs> Just trying to do all my braking on the uh, straights, you know, on the approaches to the bends rather than having to ram a handful in the middle of a bend because that is what you don't want to do in the wet. It's bad enough in the dry. Definitely don't want to do it in the wet. But it is a stunning road. Absolutely stunning. And you can see why they call it the TT. It's got the sort of similar sort of road characteristics to the um, the Isle of Man TT as well. You know, there's, there's, there's plenty of little bumpy bits that if you're going fast enough, well, I know for a fact yesterday my front wheel came up a few times, which was amazing. <laughs> One of the things I love about this um, Duke 790 is the electronics on it because when I was going, going over the bits where my front wheel was coming up, the electronics just just keep it right basically. They'll let the wheel come up, you know, I don't know what, how many degrees, four, five, six, seven degrees. So you get that amazing sense of fun. And then the anti-wheelie just holds it down, puts it back on the floor. So you're back in control again. Well, not that you're ever out of control. But you, you know, you got two wheels on the ground. Likewise, it's got all the uh, lean sensitive traction control and ABS, etc. Thought that was a, um, a camera van. Then I was going to say they're bloody ambitious, thinking that they're going to get anybody today. He says, looking down, checking the speed. <laughs> oh my God! Look, the, I don't believe it. The sun is out over there. Okay. When I get home, I'm just gonna check in the mirror, make sure I haven't got a halo. That is scary. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I can confirm, as I requested or commanded, it has stopped raining and the sun is coming out and visibility is getting better. So if anybody's got any particular miracle requests that they want, then uh, just put them on a postcard and send them to the butthole biker see what I can do. I'll put a link to the Oxford Mondale laminated clothing in the description of this video when I get back. And just in the interest of transparency, it will be an affiliate link because I've recently set up an affiliate link code, whatever you call it, with um, one of the big suppliers of motorbike gear so if I do happen to mention anything and put links down in the uh, in the description and anybody clicks through them I will get a little bit of a kickback from that shop but it doesn't mean that I'm affiliated with any brand or anything like that and anything that I do any sort of review on or mention will be um, completely objective and any sort of kickbacks that come from the um, affiliate links are just basically gonna help to put fuel in the bike and um, go back into the channel so that I can do more stuff in the future but I just thought I'd be completely open about it with you the Sun is out <laughs> I've actually got the Sun on my back now unbelievable Look, a dry patch of road. Two dry patches of road. What a brilliant road though. I'm really glad I came out and did it again. Sorry that the video is in two halves. Blame GoPro. Although I love the GoPro, I'm not I'm not moaning about the GoPro. It's just every now and then it corrupts and you're like, oh fucker. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this little ride out with me. If you have, 
please give the video a like and if you want to see more of them in the future then um, hit the subscribe button and we can go for more rides together and obviously there's going to be plenty of other stuff on the channel all sorts of uh, gear reviews bike reviews ride outs trips to events you name it anything that i can think of or anything that i do that involves motorcycling uh, which way am i going there i should go this way and that i can take a video camera on i'll make a video of because i am seriously enjoying making these videos for this channel and uh, i've got no intention of stopping so hopefully you're enjoying them if you have subscribed already then thank you very much i really appreciate it sort of makes me feel like i'm not just talking to myself which is essentially what i am doing until someone watches it and uh, if you haven't subscribed and you like what you see then please subscribe and hopefully they're only going to get better in the future as i sort of learn more and develop my skills and get more gear and what have you so anyway thanks for watching see you in the next video road closed bollocks <laughs> oh dear this video is completely beset by problems